Certainly, Shea Coney was working hard to get the ball. His teammates have helped him do that, and they're going to try and help now find their way through, hurdling the challenge with great honesty. And will it be turned in? It will be leathered into the goal. McGee was Johnny on the spot. And after nine minutes, it is Coal Island Athletic who strike first. Well, it was about working hard, wasn't it? The example set by Shea Coney. He made a number of challenges and eventually they swarmed around their men, got the ball and had a really good shot, potentially for a penalty. And in choosing to stay up, they were rewarded for two. Lavery with the turn and PJ Lavery behind the defence, over the keeper. It is a moment of real quality. A touch of genius. Marvellous finish. And Lavery lifts it over McCready. As Coal Island Athletic increase their chances of lifting this cup. He was involved in the build-up play. And then he took it onto himself to run through the defence. He saw the keeper come out. And it was no bother to him. Goal for Athletic. Score by number 11, PJ Lavery. Counter is on here. A chance to put the icing on the cake. Connor Makaliski sees his name in lights. He's felt the contact. He's gone to ground. And it's a penalty. Well, I posed it to you earlier. How long would it be until we saw a penalty in this match? Because there have been so many different appeals and most of them frivolous, in fairness. But this one has been given. Michael Liske did the dummy. And I have to say, it wasn't the strongest of contacts. The referee, closer position than us. But there didn't look to be much in that. The only other thing you could say is having beaten his man, why else would he go down? Nonetheless. Core surely clinches it now for Cull Island. I'm not so sure about the celebration. But it's a well struck penalty. Nerves of steel. Sent the keeper the wrong way. Nice. Banger YM have played some nice stuff this afternoon. They're trying to end on a high note. They might be able to. It's a really well worked goal. Stroked home by Cord. It's a beautiful team move. It might be too little too late in the grand scheme of things. But some pride restored as Bangor young men get off the mark in the final. Coal Island carved open. PJ Lavery. Oh, he's away. What a run. Oh, what a goal. My word. It was as if he took Bangor YM scoring personally. They barely just centred the ball. And we're going to be back there in a moment. PJ Lavery second to the final. More wizardry. Pass three. Men before drilling it across. He's chasing a hat trick. And they're going to form a guard of honour for the winners. Which is a really lovely gesture, I have to say, of sportsmanship and one that should not be overlooked. Because you could take your loser's medal and step to the side 
But that's the attitude of a team of winners. Coal Island claim their medals to a guard of honour. <laughs> These are the things you wait a career to win. You want to be in finals, you want to win silverware. And they have done. Coal Island Athletic win the Craig Stanfield Junior Cup final after a magnificent performance on this bank holiday Monday. Scintillating football, terrific goals. And a few years ago, the quarterfinals were as good as it got in the Junior Cup. In 2022, they have gone all the way.